Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Odin and this is Modest Sisters today. Today, 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 today. Today this video is very different because I am letting you in in my wardrobe and I'm cleaning up. Well, I say cleaning up, but I think it's more like really being intentional and looking at what is in this wardrobe that I feel like every morning I need to buy new clothes, right? That's because I do not know what's in my wardrobe, right? And every night I go to bed, I've gotten better. I go to bed and I, I know what I'm going to put together in the, in the morning, but it's such a, it's such a thought process that it shouldn't be that hard if I knew what's in my wardrobe. And, um, I'm also clearing out because I want to make room for new stuff. If I'm not wearing something, it needs to go. Um, if I love something, I need to wear it. It, it shouldn't just sit there and i need to know how much space wiggle room i do have so that when i think about buying anything um i really think properly about that before adding it to my wardrobe because i want to keep my wardrobe clutter free right so yeah if you have not watched my video explaining the reason behind all of this right do so it will make a lot of sense it will help and it will help our relationship you know it will just we'll just develop better you know carry each other along communication and that anyway <laughs> guys welcome to my channel i'm going to be doing a wardrobe detox and i'm going to be opening up this bad boy and we're going to be going into it taking out items piling on one side what i want to keep on the other side what i do not want to keep in the center stuff that i am going to be giving to my mom because my mom loves my mom every time she comes over she literally cleans out my wardrobe anything she sees and she likes this woman helps herself for herself for her friends and relatives and i don't mind to be honest because it creates room and in a way it's re it's recycling the stuff i'm going to give to my mom is stuff that uh, the materials uh, make sense because it's hot and also it's um, not like this things that trend here and over there it just would not make sense <laughs> so I'm not gonna give that to my mom because she would struggle with who to give it to the stuff that I'm not keeping and not giving away to my mom I am going to first attempt to use Depop and Spock this is gonna be the first time so I'm going to attempt to put them on there first and then um, if they don't sell after a period of time, I'm going to take them to the, um, the cash for clothes place. Not because I want the money, but just because the reason I'm avoiding taking them to charity shops, which is the obvious um, solution in, when you're doing this kind of exercise, the reason I'm avoiding it, charity shops is because they, they're having a hard time from what I can see actually recycling these clothes. Not everything you take to your charity shop gets sold. I'm going to link a video below, which explains this much better than I am doing, but basically they're struggling because of the amount of clothes people give to them. They can't shift all of it. In the end, they send it out to um, third world countries and those third world countries have to figure out what to do with these clothes and they come in abundance to the extent that they just buy them and burn them so that's not a solution at the moment until i'm more comfortable to give them to charity then yeah anyway <clears throat> done let me check my notes what else i wanted to say to you guys before we go and open that uh beautiful wardrobe over there I think you guys are going to be surprised with my wardrobe so comment below what's going to surprise you the most what did you what do you think what did you think my wardrobe is like and um after seeing what's in my wardrobe what do you what you know what are your impressions so what do i have here let's get into it if you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're doing let's get into it <laughs> I'm going to start with the stuff that's hung up and then do with the stuff down here and then the shoes. Yes, we're clearing out the shoes too because there's shoes up there that 
I have probably, I've not touched for like a year and that's unacceptable. So, let's go! <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Yes. I was gonna take this out to give it to my mum, but it's actually such a good basic. When I'm stuck for what to wear to work, this is always my go-to and it, it is so safe, so I'm gonna keep it because I wear it a lot. I love this blazer. This is from Gertzus. It's a Danish. Um, it's a Danish brand. I'm gonna do an unboxing of two items in the post from them. So um, yeah, I'll explain a bit more about them and show you their stuff. But it's really nice. Really, really, really good quality. This is a H&M blazer. I have had this blazer. I think it's coming up to six years now yes this blazer from h&m and there is no sign of aging on it whatsoever six years from h&m and i i wash it in the washing machine you know so it's not like i take any special care of it or but yeah six years and i'm still loving this blazer because it's such a good basic it's 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 perfect <laughs> another jumper dress love this you will notice my wardrobe is not very very corporate because my workplace is very relaxed and i like comfy clothes so I have a lot of jumper dresses. So I have five coats. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to be keeping all of them for now because they're all quite different. Um, and yeah, I'm keeping all of them. I'm not, I'm not throwing any out yet. So as of this half of the year, I'm going to keep my coats. It's not like I just have loads of jeans. This is different. Love it. These are my Miss 60. My first and only Ivy Park. I love this. You chuck this on top of anything and it makes it look amazing. Literally.
it's very obvious that I do not need any more jumpers in this wardrobe but um, I think we're in a good we're in a good space I'm gonna put details below of the amount of tops dresses trousers jackets and gillettes and like little inserts I have and jeans um, more of a, a time stamp for me as well and also just so you get to see the proportions in my wardrobe so yeah I'm gonna go into the shoes now so that is going to be some serious decluttering there's gonna be barely anything left so I'm warning you now I'm done and that didn't really take even it didn't take an hour you know because I think maybe because I had been gearing my mind towards this so it didn't take me long um, and I enjoyed it because I've got so much space and now I need to sit down and think about what I want to add to the wardrobe I have an idea already but um, I might share I'll share with you basically the stuff I add in there and um yeah i won't bore you by keeping you whilst i clean up but basically everything on the floor shoes wise anything in decent condition is going to be on spock and depop and i'll put the links below for anyone interested if you want them and um and um the stuff the stuff here which you probably didn't you can't see but um so the stuff here is gonna be um this is gonna be going to my mom this is gonna be going on spock <coughs> oh gosh i always sneeze when i'm filming this is gonna go on spock and depop for resale this is going to my mom and the shoes some of them will be i don't know what i'll do with the really bad ones but um you know i'll see but that's basically it guys thank you so much for staying to the end of this video and comment below if you have any questions about your wardrobe about my wardrobe and comment below if you want to see anything else as a build up from what you've seen in this video thank you i love you for watching and mwah, have a lovely week